Om Shanti. I'm Anna, and this is Devana Yoga. Welcome. This is a vinyasa practice for letting go of what you are to become what you might be. Lao Tzu, I let go of what I am to become what I might be. We'll start in together with two blocks. So having two blocks, lay one block down flat and one up for your head. We're going to lay over these blocks. So we want the horizontal one to be under the heart, supporting the shoulder blades, the bottom part of the shoulder blades, arms out to the side, separate your feet, chin to the throat. Start with a big exhale in the belly. And then take your inhale. Now exhale through the belly again, but open your mouth. And inhale. Now we're going to go through a little list of whatever you think you are. I am a sibling. I am a partner. Go through those. Take a little picture of them, the center of your eyebrows. I'm a sister, a brother, a teacher, a manager, whatever it is. Go through the list. What are you? Don't get stuck on anyone. Just keep going through the list. Maybe a dishwasher in the house, a cleaner, an errand person. Keep going. Surely you can think of a few more. Now, take a big breath in and with your mouth open and your tongue hanging out, let go of all of those titles. Good. Two more like that. One more. Nicely done. Bring the legs together, stretch the arms overhead, take a big morning stretch, even if it's the afternoon or evening that you're practicing this. And then bend the knees, bringing the hands to the sides. Lengthen your tail a little bit and take the arms up over the head and circle the arms so the hands come down towards the knees. Inhale, reach them up. And exhale down towards the knees. In one direction, inhale out. Exhale, bring them back together. Good. Now, take your arms out and slowly bring the hands towards the knees. Exhale. Inhale, crossing your arms a little different. So if your bottom hand was on top, if your left hand was on top, take it on to the bottom now. When they cross. Listen to the shoulders. You've just created some space for today, for the possibilities of today. And if you're practicing this at night, for possibilities in general, maybe even tomorrow, roll to your side and gently bring yourself up to a seat. So I'm going to sit on one of my blocks. And since doggy's left, I'll roll up her blanket. Might use that a little later in Shavasana. And lengthen the spine, bring the chin towards the throat. Take the chin to the right, inhale, and up to the sky. And then exhale, chin to left and down. And right and up, inhale, left and down. One more in this direction, inhale. Exhale. 
change the direction. Inhale, take the weight of the world off of your shoulders by lowering them. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You're a blank slate now. Anything is possible. In. And exhale. Open the eyes, lift the head. We're going to practice a little kapala bhati. Kapala bhati means skull shining breath. It's also a great way to reduce or release what no longer serves us. So we'll take our hands onto our belly. We're going to be exhaling through the nose with a little bit of force, not a lot, just a little bit today and going slowly as we pull the belly button back to the spine. So it looks like this. Breathing in passively. Like you're blowing your nose. Breathe in. Now let's try it together. We'll try five times. Really try to get all the air out of the lungs. This is very useful for reducing, releasing wastes. Inhale. Try to keep your spine straight, shoulders relaxed. Two more. One more. Good, bring the arms up, reach up. On your exhale, twist your belly right, ribs right, heart right, head right. Let's try five times, pressing the belly button to the spine. Remember, you're releasing what no longer serves you. Maybe that's a title. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a material thing. So cathartic. Inhale, reach up. Head comes forward first. Go to the left. Belly, ribs, heart, head left. Breathe in. Two more. One more. Head comes forward. Shoulders, rest of body. Breathe in. Hands to the heart. Take a big belly, ribs, chest breath. And then exhale, chest, ribs, and belly. One more time like that. Nicely done. We'll practice Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu, which is invoking the presence of peace. May all beings be happy and free. And may my actions contribute to the happiness and the freedom for all beings everywhere. Loka samasta sukhinu bhavantu. Breathing in. Om loka samasta sukhinu bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhinu Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And we'll release the hands. Having taken our twist already, we're going to move into other actions of the spine. You may want to use your blanket for this for your knees. We're going to take one knee down in a gentle side angle pose. Left knee is down, right leg opens up, left toes on the floor, right arm comes to right thigh. My right knee is also in alignment with my, my right heel, excuse me, is in alignment with my left knee, right arm down, take the left arm up and over. And slowly reach. So the goal is not to get the arm to lay on the ear, it's to reach up and over while maintaining a beautiful openness, open for possibility and miracle today. We're going to turn our gaze up.
and start to make even inhales to exhales. Light engagement of Mula Bandha, keep lifting the pelvic floor. So inhale for the same count that you're exhaling, maybe it's for four or five. Start to engage Ujjayi breath. Make your right leg strong. Good, and then release and take the right leg out to the side. Right arm reaches right, go a little bit deeper. This time keep your, keep your gaze in the center for a lateral flexion. Every exhale is an opportunity to release. Release and make more space. One more breath. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, twist to face your right leg and walk your hands long. Roll your right hip back, left hip forward towards your right foot. Inhale, lengthen and exhale, forward fold. If you need more stretch in the right leg, curl the toes to the sky. Equal inhale to exhale. One more breath. And then walk your hands back and turn back to the front and take your right leg down. Let's take the left leg long and then bend the knee. So our left heel is in alignment with the right knee. Take the right arm to the thigh. We're pressing away from the thigh. We're not going to lay on the thigh. Press away, engage Mula Bandha, pull in the belly and up. Take the right arm up to the sky first. Really reach, reach your right underarm up and then over. Now turn your gaze to the sky. Got a beautiful opening happening through the low back area, through your hip, your side body. Relax your right shoulder down a little bit. Don't let it touch the ear. Always like to say that shoulders don't make nice earrings. Keep your legs active to hold you in place. One more breath, keep pressing away from the leg. Good, and then come up to neutral, extend your left leg long. Take the left hand down the leg, reach your right arm up and over, but this time keep your nose in alignment with the navel so you're gazing straight in front of you. Exaggerating that beautiful opening, opening for space. Creating all kinds of space in the body, in the mind, in your life, a possibility. Who knows what we might become? One more breath. Inhale, coming up. Turn to face the left, lift your heart, exhale with a nice straight spine, trying to fold at the hips, not at the waist. Walk your hands forward. You could always use blocks for this instead if you'd like, under your hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, forward fold. Need more stretch in the back leg? Then curl the toes to the sky. One more even breath. And slowly come back. I'm going to take the knees together and turn towards the front of your mat and round the spine. Knees under the hips, wrists under the shoulders. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Now we can go a little faster. Exhale, round. With a force to the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Come to a flat table. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, and downward facing dog. Move any blankets you might have underneath you. So 
or to bend one knee and then the other. Then lift your right leg to the sky, bend the knee, open the right hip, take a circle in one direction. Look under the right arm. If this is too energetic just yet, you can lower your left knee to take this posture. Change directions of your knee. And then bring the right leg down. Lift the left leg. Bend the knee, open the hip, look under your left arm, circles. Hello, hips. Get some space in the hips. We hold so much in there. Release some. Opposite direction. Good, and then release the left leg. Slowly walk your feet forward. Use your fingertips on the floor. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up to a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Last time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Sipping their big toes together, heels apart, bend the knees, cross the thumbs. Inhale. Lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Sorry, Namaskar. C. Inhale, step the right foot back. Exhale, left foot back, down dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Dig your fingertips in. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and lift, but keep the pubic going on the floor. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, reach the arms high, grounding through the balls of the feet, the toes, the heels. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, right foot steps back, downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Use your fingers. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Exhale, right. Inhale, cross thumbs, lift heart. One more time, exhale. Inhale, right foot goes back. Exhale, left, opening the hips. Inhale to plank, strong plank, keep the belly active. Exhale, Ashtangasana. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, cross the thumbs, lift your heart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, right. Inhale to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Use your core to step. Exhale, right. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands at heart. Stop and breathe. You're already shedding away the layers of what you don't need. I let go of what I am to become what I might be. Let's further sweep them away with Surya Namaskar B. Exhale, bend the knees, hands down. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, nice forward fold. Inhale, just lift the head. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana or walk back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right foot steps forward right away. Virabhadrasana one. This is Surya B. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot steps forward. Reach up. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Stay five breaths. Try to spread your toes, press the ball of the foot in and try to get the heels down if possible. Otherwise, bend knees if you need to. Gazing at the tip of the nose. Take one more, nice big long breath. Inhale, lift the heels, exhale, bend the knees, jump or walk. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, forward fold. Now bend the knees to come up for Utkatasana. 
exhale, Samadhi Ti. One more time. Bend the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, walker step. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Warrior one, right side. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale. And exhale, left foot comes forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Five breaths. Slow, even breaths. See if you can make them long and even. Press your fingertips down into the earth. One more breath. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Look forward, jump. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lovely forward fold. Bend the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. And exhale, Samadhi Take five breaths here. Turn your palms open. Open your shoulders, chin towards the throat. Throw the breath down. To become what I might be, shedding away the layers. Just for this hour, just for this moment in time, not forever, just to open for now. Opening the eyes, inhale, reach the arms up nice and high. Utita Hastasana, exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to take warrior two, step the right foot in between the hands, open the back foot to 90 degrees. Now you can bring your hands behind your back and I'm gonna turn around and show you. You can put your hands on your elbows or you can bring your hands behind your back here in Viparita Namaskara. So choose your position. Front heels in alignment with the arch of the back foot, looking right, inhale, straighten right leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Take the release the hand bind and reach your right arm up and overhead. Five breaths. One more breath. Inhale and exhale, release. Chaturanga or knees, chest and chin, or stay in down dog. Inhale, exhale. Step the left foot forward, Virabhadrasana two. Arms out, option to take hands to elbows or Viparita Namaskara. Ready? Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Make sure your knees facing the same direction as your left toes. Extend the arms out. Right hand down, left palm up. Reach up and back. Keep bending the left knee. Don't let it come out of its bend. One more breath, Mula Bandha's engaged, belly's in and up. And release the left hand and the right hand, your choice. You can take downward facing dog or chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Next we have Trikonasana. Take the right foot in between the hands, open the back foot 90 degrees, extend the arms out. I'm gonna take the left hand to the top of the right thigh. 
reach long through the right. You may want to use your block for this as well. You can have it in your right hand. And take the right hand down, opening through the left shoulder. Getting some nice opening through the hips, the chest, the legs. Try to find your even breath. Even breath means an even mind. Keep your legs strong. Keep squeezing the legs. But one more breath. Now bend your right knee. Release your hand and take Chaturanga, turning the left heel high. Step the foot back. Don't slide it back. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Open the right foot. Again, arms come out, and then right hand goes to the top of the left thigh. Extend by pressing your right hip a little bit with that, or your left hip a little bit with that right hand. Look left and reach. Keep the right shoulder open. Is your breath even? Inhale to exhale. Ujjayi breath. Keep rolling your shoulder blades together on your back. Try to emulate that laying over the blocks in this pose. That feeling in your upper body. And looking down, step, bend your left leg, reach your hands down. Turn your right heel high and step the foot back. Don't slide it. Step it. Good. Chaturanga. Up dog and downward facing dog. Virabhadrasana one, right foot steps behind the right hand. The left heel is going to come a little bit closer here. Inhale, reach up, and we're going to take a reverse warrior one. We're going to do it with both hands. Reach the arms up, lift your heart as high as you can. Lift, 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 lift. Just letting go of what we are to become what we might mean means. Taking risks, letting go of old limits toward some growth. What limits did we have that we safely tucked into a title, maybe? Now, hands to the heart. We're going to reach forward with our torso and straighten the right leg. Inhale, come up to warrior three. Left toes turn in. Exhale down here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Going back to reverse one, exhale. Bending the knee, then straightening the right leg to find an easy, stable pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. We'll stay. Curl your left toes inward. Your left foot turns in. Belly is active. Hands are at the heart. Good. Now bend your right knee, come to a high lunge. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take the left foot forward. And let's find that warrior one. You can step your right foot a little closer. Inhale, lift your heart. You want to make a nice long low back. Now, exhale, hands to the heart, straighten the left leg, lift right leg. And bring it down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull everything in, straighten the left leg. Two. Bend the knee, inhale, rest. Three. Let's stay. Try to get long as, as long as you can from the crown of your head to your right heel. Right hip and left hip are facing the floor. One more breath. Now bend the left knee, come to a high lunge. Inhale, reach up nice and high. And then exhale, let it go. Down dog, chaturanga, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale. Step the right foot in between the hands 
and the right hand goes once in front of the right foot, twice, and once to the right. You might want your block for this. Half moon, we're gonna be coming in from half moon to side angle. Reach up, stand up. You can also take this on your knee if you prefer. You can move away the block if you'd like. Gaze is upwards. Take that risk. Let go of the limits. Do it in the name of growth. And bend the knee. Step it back. We're going to come into side angle pose on the same side. So right hand can be down on the inside of the leg, on the outside of the foot, open. If you want, you can stay here, turn your gaze up, or you can take a bind, or you can step your left foot closer. If you have a bind and you step your left foot closer, there is an option to put your weight in your left foot and stand up. Who knows, today might be the day where this posture is super easy, or at least accessible. So one more breath. Now, the trick is coming down gra as gracefully as you went into it. You step the foot back, the hand back where you had it, reach your arm all the way over again, and let's take it down. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left foot comes forward for half moon. Left hand goes in front of the left foot once, twice, once to the left, to open up. You get a chance to play with that sequence again. Maybe you want to bend your knee, reach for your foot. And release it, take it down. Take the right foot back, 90 degree angle for right foot, parallel to the back edge of the mat. Left hand can be on the inside of the left foot. On the outside underneath the leg, reach your right arm up and over the ear. Option to stay here, option to step closer, option to take a bind, or place your weight in your right foot and stand up. Good. Bend the knee, step it back. Take the right foot back and let it go. I'm gonna play with that again. Second time is much easier. Let's give it a try. Let go of the fear. Let go of self-imposed limit. Put the right foot forward. Right hand goes once, twice. Once to the right, maybe you use your block. Five breaths, half moon. Good, bend the knee, step back, side angle pose, arm can be on the inside, round the back, over the ear. You can step your left foot forward or a little closer. You can take a bind, this is an excellent hip opening just here, and wonderful prep. Or put your weight into your left foot. And open. Bring your head left. One more breath. Good. Step the foot down. Gently come back. Right hand, left hand. And make your way to Chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Left hand goes once, twice, once to the left. Open up. Maybe you want a little bind here. Keep the calm breath. When you're ready, let go of your bind, bend your left knee, step back your right foot, choose your 
side angle pose, Parsikonasana. Choose which one you'd like, you know where to go. You can step your right foot forward, putting the weight into the right hand. I'm going to hurry the right foot. One more breath. And bend the knee, gracefully come down as gracefully as you went up. Return to your side angle and let it go. Atiranda, up long, downward facing dog. Five breaths here. One more breath. And walk your feet forward halfway. Lower the knees. Separate the feet. Option to use your block for Virasana. And sit right in between the heels. Or if you need, sit on a block. Resting your hands on your thighs. Coming back to equal breath. Maybe you decide you'd like to let go of the block. And then slowly, either bring your hands back behind your chest, behind your shoulders, tuck your tail, maybe you take your hands to your feet. And relax in Virasana, holding on to either elbow. One more breath. Bring your hands to your ankles and slowly make your way up. I'm going to try today Ustrasana. So grab your block and put your block between your thighs, please. Tops of the toes on the floor. Find a nice long spine. Rolling the shoulders back. Take your hands into virtual pocket, pull your elbows together and lengthen the spine. Lift, lift through your chest. When I say lengthen the spine, I'm trying to lift our chest as high as we can. So we feel like we're getting space in between the vertebrae. And then slowly lift the head, the eyes. Feel a beautiful opening of space in the vertebral column. Now come back to neutral. <sighs> we can take that a little bit further or stay there. So you can put your hands back into your virtual pockets, pulling your elbows together and just work on finding length. Or if it feels okay for you, you can bring your hands to your heels. One hand, two hands to heel. Lifting your heart first. I want the hips right over the knees. So don't let your hips fall back. Keeping your hips over your knees, pull your shoulder blades together and lift your heart a little higher and then carefully waterfall the head back. One more breath. And bringing the head back first and lengthening through the spine, remove your block and come to cat cow. Knees down, wrist under the shoulders, spread the fingers, Feet behind the knees, drop the belly, lift the head, inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round. Two more like that, inhale. Exhale. One more. I'm going to extend the left arm long, reach the right arm high, 
and bring your right hand under the left arm, right temples on the floor. Slowly extend your left leg back, coming into a little bit of an inversion here and a tricky one at that. Lift the left leg off the floor. Option to stay right here or bend the left knee. Make sure that there's nothing you're going to crash into on your right <laughs> behind you because it happens. Falling happens in this pose. And reach for your foot. Keep using the back of your right hand. This is a balance and an inversion. It is lower than the heart. And one more breath. And release. And let the knee down. Come back. Ooh, that was a good one. Really uses the oblique strength. And you have to concentrate. So take the left arm up. Reach your left arm under the right arm. Lay down the left side of the temple. You can also put your head on a block if you prefer. Now take your right leg back. Option to stay here or lift the right leg using your core strength. Option to bend the knee, reaching ever so carefully for the foot. You might fall. <laughs> and if you do, laugh and get up into it again. Keep playing with it. Find your balance. The balance between the titles and you. And slowly come back. Back into cat cow, drop the belly, lift the head, inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Two more, inhale, drop the belly, lift the head. Exhale, round the spine. Last one, inhale, drop belly. Look to the third eye. And then exhale, round as much as you can. Child's pose. Nice forward fold. We have eight breaths here. Feel free to put your head on a block if you'd like, on a blanket. Slow, even breaths. Come back to them. Three more slow breaths. And then lifting the head, remove your block, coming up, setting up for Shavasana. And a guided meditation today of Soham, Mantra Meditation. So make your way towards your Shavasana. We'll have a little twist first. Bend the knees, soles of the feet are on the floor. Swing your hips to the right, pull the knees in, and take the knees left as you twist your upper body right. One more breath. Now let the soles of the feet come down, spines in neutral, lift your bottom, swing it left, pull the knees in, and let your knees go right. Turn your head left, maybe the right hand lays on the top of the left thigh.
when the head comes back to neutral, feet come back to neutral, lift the bottom, just swing it a little right and left. Oh, and then lay it down when you feel it's as strong as it can get. Extend the legs long, but separate the feet. Lift your head, pull the chin towards your throat and release your neck, long neck to the floor. Lift your chest, pull the shoulder blades together on your back and release the upper shoulder to the floor. Lift your bottom ever so slightly, lengthening the tailbone to the heel and lower down again. Our meditation in our Shavasana today is so hum meditation. I am that, that I am. One of the oldest mantra meditations in the universe. I am greater than any of the titles around me. I'm open to possibility and miracle. It sounds like this. As you inhale, make the sound of every living being in this universe. So, as you exhale, you lengthen hum, H-A-U-M, hum. Try it silently, inhale, so. Exhale, hum. Um, I am that, that I am. Every inhale is so and every exhale is hum. This is also a nice way to regulate your breathing. If your mind wanders, return to so hum.
so calm. 